we're gonna get right into this review right now because I have a video showing you guys how I style this wig. So if you're still interested in learning how I style this human wig, continue watching. But let me just briefly explain about this wig. I got this wig from my um, wig man. I call him my wig man because I go to him. It's a beauty exchange store here in Orlando, Florida, where I purchase all my wigs. And you know, he gave me this wig for free because he have this wig in stock and none of his customers buy it because they don't see a lot of reviews. And you know when people buy wigs on YouTube, I mean wigs from the store, they always go on YouTube to look at the wig to see review before they buy it. So I'll be the first to review this Nina. She's not really popular on YouTube. She's not really popular, period. So I was like, you know what? I want to be the first to do it. So here, you guys, this is Nina. Um, This is still affordable. You know, I'm always bringing you guys per usual affordable wigs. This was still affordable. Retail price was about $200 for this hair. And so if you're interested in seeing how I styled this lace wig, continue watching. And before you go, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see some more human lace wigs. Let me know. We are bringing it to the Royal Palace. But continue you watching this video and see how I achieve this look this style and I'll see you guys in my next video all right, so we're going to get straight into this review. This is the box that it came in, and it was packaged in a little plastic bag in the inside. Now, my first impression, I wasn't impressed when I saw the wig because I thought it was very thin. So I ran my fingers through the curls and also even sniffed the wig to make sure it smelled good. And I ran my fingers through it, and for so far, so good. There was minimum shedding. I didn't really get that much shedding, but then again, I just opened this out of the box. So later, I don't know if it's going to trans. Um, it's going to change. The wig's going to change. So then I would definitely come back with an update but it does have it's full lace all the way through the wig and also does have pins and adjustable straps Now I'm going to go in there with my um, LA Pro Concealer in the color Beautiful Bronze and I got this because it's close to my scalp color and you can use whatever um, concealer that you normally use and I put it on my beauty blender and put that on top and apply it on top of my wig cap and I do this just because I want it to you know look more tan-ish than neutral this is a natural uh, wig cap color and it helps with the blending with um, a full lace wig. Now I'm going to go in there with my Got To Be Glued in the yellow bottle and I'm using this to um, paste around my head. This will help for the secureness with my wig and glue the wig down. And now, right now I'm just going to apply that all around my hair and then blow dry it. Now that our wig is secured, I'm going to pull out all the baby hairs in there and also I'm pulling out a little excess um, hairs just so I can um, get that illusion of baby hair. So I'm just pulling some hair out. Now I'm going in there with my other bottle of Gots to be glued in the black bottle. I'm using this to... Um, my baby hairs and I'd rather use this in the white bottle because you don't get that white residue from the clear bottle of Got to Be Glue so I would be using this for my baby hairs.
now that everything is nice baby hairs are on fleek and my wig is nicely secured i'm just gonna brush out the hair and the hair gets really big i was very impressed at how big it got but i did tame it back down with some of this curl activator and also i used some of my um coconut oil just for the dryness of the hair and i want to keep my hair moisturized and right now i'm looking like a puerto rican and i'm so fine So now this is the final look. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Mwah.